Dan here. Welcome back to Vinyl Fury. And I'm going to be doing a, a few things differently today. You might notice it looks a little different. Maybe we'll get into that a little bit in the future, but I am trying some new stuff out. I'm also doing something a little differently in that, as the name of the channel implies, I typically show and talk about vinyl records with my friends here in the vinyl community. And to those who end up here somehow, if that's you, hello. Today I'm not going to be showing any records. I'm going to be showing another physical media um, that has kind of fallen by the wayside in the last 10, 15 years. But they're really not all that bad. And for reasons that I've talked about the last couple few years, I've been buying less and less vinyl especially new vinyl, for several reasons, but mainly because they've gotten too expensive and the quality control has gone down, and those two things just don't go together and they don't make sense for me. So I bought more and more new music on CD, and then sometimes as a digital download, which I'll talk about as well. So I think probably for the first time ever, I actually have a stack of CDs to show and talk about. First of all, this is the new one from Mogwai. It's called As the Love Continues. This came out just a couple days ago, actually. And this is a perfect example, I think, of why I am leaning towards buying new music on CD or some other way. Because this was about $12 on Bandcamp and it came with the download, as most everything on Bandcamp does. Bandcamp is primarily a stream and downloading platform for mostly independent artists. And normally you have a high resolution download option from Bandcamp. And more and more I've seen that high resolution option is not just 16-bit 44 like a CD. It's often 24-bit and sometimes 96 kilohertz, 88 kilohertz, something like this, which is better than CD. So you can buy a physical product and get a high quality digital download for 10, 15, 20 dollars less than that same record on vinyl. So that's exactly what this was. And I have many Mogwai records that I've gotten over the years, and especially the last few that I've gotten, the quality of the vinyl has not been great. So I didn't take a chance on it this time, and I just went with the CD and the download. And the download was 24-bit 96K, and that is high resolution. And that's awesome. Plus this CD, it's not even opened yet because I've only played the digital files. And it's a gr great Mogwai record. Uh, Mogwai, if you don't know, is a really excellent um, post-rock band and they've had a long career they've been around for 25 plus years I've been aware of them for about 20 years now and they've been one of my favorite bands to listen to mostly instrumental but there's so much melody and instrumentation and experimentation sometimes and they're just a really engaging band and I've seen them live a few times and they're just they're just excellent. So definitely not a dis disappointment here, the new Mogwai album. This is something that I've been meaning to get in a physical form for quite some time. It's not available on vinyl, and it's actually gotten a little bit harder to find on CD even. So this is a CD by a band called Year of the Rabbit. I hope that's in focus. Year of the Rabbit is one of the post-failure projects from Ken Andrews. This came out in 2003. And if he had gone ahead with Failure, the name, and not the rest of the band, this probably could have been a Failure record and not really disappointed anybody. I mean, it definitely has a... It still has that big, heavy rock vibe with very, very strong melodies. But it's a little more in the direction of polished, I'll 
alternative rock and less space rock, I would say. So heavier on like the melodic rock. And uh, it's, it's from start to finish, it's just a, such an excellent listen. Ken Andrews is also an excellent mixer. And you mix this as well. So the sound of this record is just really polished in a good way. It just sounds really good. Instruments separated, defined. Uh, I love it, and I'm glad I finally got it on a CD. I think I got it on eBay, and this is a, a promo copy, which I think a lot of them are. And in that same vein is a band called Hum, which is also a very influential alternative rock post-grunge band from the 90s who haven't put out a record since, I believe, 97. And this came out... People knew it was happening, but didn't know when. And all of a sudden, one day, here it is. It's called Inlet. And it's the new full-length album from Hum. And it is awesome. It is so good that it's... It shouldn't be surprising, because they're such an excellent band. But for it to be this good after this long, it's unusual, is what it is. But this album is really good. Um, it's, it's well made. I can tell this band and Matt, the, the front man, and the person who's kind of been the shepherd of the band and their content for the last 20-some years since they've been active. Man, it's just so good. Some of these songs are so heavy. The tone is fantastic. They have some of the coolest guitar tone, heavy rock. And uh, this one, as much as I love this album, it's just way too expensive to get on vinyl. It's $35 before any shipping or anything like that. And I've heard it's a great pressing, and that's awesome, but it's still too much. I just can't do it. And it's another thing where this was 10 bucks. Plus the download, I believe, was 24-bit, 88 kilohertz. So it was just a no-brainer for me. Uh, it is a little gatefold CD jacket. Totally worth it, I think, to get it this way. And if I can get it someday for a, a bit cheaper than that, great. I don't need to, and I just, I just couldn't do it. But the album is fantastic, however you want to get it. So this one... I saw shown by Secretary of Funk, Seca Funk, Van, who's been a staple in the VC for a long time, and it's been great to see him show back up and share music again, because he has fantastic taste, and I've definitely learned quite a few things by watching his channel over the years. And he showed this record, played a needle drop, which he loves to do, and which as many of us have had, have run into problems with trying to do that just, and just share music with people. But, you know, big business, big music has a problem with that. But I was able to hear some of this with his needle drop and it sounded phenomenal to me. Uh, it's Tank and the Bangas and this is called Green Balloon. So this album is hip hop, it's soul, it's funk. I th I I would say it's a bit of of jazz and it's just so well done and so tasteful that it's kind of even if this isn't typically your type of music, it it sounds like something intriguing and I don't know, I just, even just the a little bit that I heard from his sample, I was like, I'm very into that and I need to get it. So I actually tried to get it on vinyl. It was pressed by United and it was warped and it, I could tell that the low end just wasn't there in, in my estimation. There was, there was something that just wasn't in those grooves. So I sent it back and I got the CD it's an excellent album, and I believe they just put out a new one. This this came out, I think, a couple years ago now. Yeah, 2019. And I haven't heard that new one, but this was one of the best new things I heard last year. So Jagged Jazzist from Norway 
are also just one of my absolute favorites. And this is their latest, it's called Pyramid. Another one that was just seemed too expensive to take a chance on vinyl. And another one I actually bought through Bandcamp. And another one I think that was at least 24-bit, if not a higher sample rate. I believe it was a high-res download. Totally worth it. Uh, Jagged Jazzist is a, a mix of electronic and organic instruments, usually quite a big ensemble. Just some of the coolest non-rock music in my collection. It's layered and it's very well crafted. And another one that just like, it sounds really good. The sound of it is, is excellent. Uh, definitely check out Jagger Jazzes. I've definitely talked about them before and I have most of their records on vinyl, if not all of them. But I had to go with the CD on this one. This one was just a random Goodwill find. Um, I was out on a walk. I happened to see that Goodwill was actually open. So I put on the mask and I went in. I just kind of eyeballed the CDs back and forth. Didn't really expect to see anything, but this jumped out to me. This is John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. And this is on Impulse. It's a reissue from the 90s, I suppose. It folds out. And Johnny Hartman, I don't think I had heard of before, but he's a vocalist, which I, I didn't know. So when I started playing it, I was kind of surprised to hear vocals on a John Coltrane album, but his voice was wonderful and the combination worked pretty damn well. So that was a nice surprise. I, I think it was like $2, but yeah, that was just a great random find. So these are two albums that uh, again, couldn't spring form on vinyl. And I've, just given the nature of the music and the type of music that it is, I, I just figured it would probably be just as good or better on CD anyway. So these are the recent albums from Tycho, Weather and Simulcast. This is Weather, this is Simulcast. This was the first Tycho album with vocals, which a lot of people either just didn't like or took some time to get adjusted to. I'm in the latter camp. I wasn't super into it at the beginning. Uh, now some of these songs have stuck in my head. Um, but because, I, th I think because of the reaction to it, uh, they did put out a retooled version of most of these songs as a simulcast, which is mostly instrumental. So best of both worlds there. Again, these are both little gatefold CDs. And uh, yeah, they were probably nine, ten dollars each, and I thought I thought it was worth worth it to do that. So last but certainly not least, I picked this up. At this point, I feel like I'm lucky to have had the opportunity to do it because it's a lot more expensive to get now, and it hasn't even been that long. But this is the 30th anniversary deluxe box set of Tears for Fears, Songs from the Big Chair. Certainly one of the best albums of the 80s. In my opinion, one of the, just hands down, one of the best records of all time. And I, of course, have owned this album for quite some time, but this, this is quite the reissue. This is quite the package. Here's a large colored booklet. This is a reprinting of a tour program from that era. So inside there are six different discs in their own sleeves. We got the album proper, remastered, and B-sides. We've got the collected, edited versions of many songs from singles, seven inches. We got a disc of remixes, unreleased recordings, uh, some live recordings, some early mixes, some alternate stuff. This is the album in 5.1 and the high-res remix from Steve Wilson, which is fantastic. Um, actually, I think it's both the original version in 5.1 and the, the new mix in 
as well as high-res stereo. It was really cool to hear this in 5.1. It was very tastefully done. And I also think Steve Wilson's remix, Stephen Wilson, uh, was really great. I mean, it, it didn't set out to change the songs, really, but there's... It's a, it's a bit warmer, I, th I think, is the general vibe. More bass. I think just kind of more even and less like big reverb and more focused on making things just slightly fuller, maybe. I mean, it's not extremely different, uh, but it's really good. And it also has the DVD that's been around for a while called Scenes from the Big Chair, a documentary, which is really excellent. So they have all of this stuff in one package. It's really great. So I got it from Amazon. I believe I got it from Amazon UK. Had it shipped overseas. Because I've been looking at it for a while. I actually looked at it when it first came out for the 30th anniversary. This is actually a reissue of this box set because it had been sold out for quite some time. This came out in uh, 2014. And it was available again. And apparently for only a short amount of time because that's sold out again and now it's like tripled in price at least on Discogs. So I'm glad I got it when I did. Um, and I haven't even listened to the to every disc yet because there's so much. But I knew I had to to get it to have all of this material because I really do just love this record. And um, there we go. That's my CD haul of all things to talk about on this channel. But of course we will be talking about records again. And so... Yeah, I do have a new camera setup. If you've been watching my channel since, I mean, I've been doing this since late 2009. So it's been over 11 years now. But for several of those years, I had a DSLR camera that I made my videos with, and I would get questions all the time. What camera are you using? Because most people, understandably, were using like webcams and phones and stuff like this. And I was really into photography for several of those years, so I had a decent camera that could sh shoot video, so I had the opportunity to have a little bit better video quality. And then I sold that camera with the intention of getting a better one in the not-too-distant future. But for some reason, I, I, I didn't do that. Phones got better and better, and those cameras on those phones got better and better. It just didn't seem like something that I really felt I should do or needed to do. And then recently, I just felt like it was time to, to do it. So I got a Canon M50, which is a very popular camera for people doing stuff like this. It, it's a great camera. It Comparatively, it's not, you know, super expensive. Of course, it's not cheap. But I wanted to invest in this kind of thing again. And I just... I just got the lens that I'm using on it today, and I just wanted to do something with it and see how it turns out. So we'll see. One of my intentions of doing this is doing more of these videos more often this year. So I'm going to try to stick to that. I have an idea because I, you know, I only have like one short video's worth of final update material before I have nothing new. So I have an idea of how I'm going to make new videos with what I have. And, um, and that'll be coming up soon. So thanks for watching, we'll see how this turns out. And this is the first video that I've done this year, so Happy New Year, I hope you're well, I hope you're healthy. And until next time, take care and enjoy your music.